Hi, I'm Dr. Randy Martin and I'm a cardiologist and I wanted to talk to you about your heart. That's because your heart is an extraordinary machine. And during your lifetime, your heart's muscular walls pump blood into blood vessels branching throughout your body. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers called the left and right atria, and two lower chambers called the left and right ventricles, and they contract in a steady rhythm known as your heartbeat. Now during a normal heartbeat, blood from your tissues and lungs flows into the atrium and then into your ventricles. Walls inside the heart, called the interatrial and interventricular septum, help keep the blood on the left and right sides from mixing. Two valves sit like doors between your atria and ventricles to prevent blood from flowing backward into your atria. The tricuspid valve opens into your right ventricle and the mitral valve opens into your left ventricle. Strong thin tissues called corti tendinae hold your valves in place during the forceful contraction of your ventricles. Blood leaving the ventricles passes through another set of valves. The pulmonary valve sits between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, and the aortic valve sits between your left ventricle and the aorta. What's really unique about the heart is the way that it pumps blood to the body or to the lungs. You would think of it as being a pump like this, but it actually is a very unique structure because it has three layers of muscles that are arranged in sort of a cross-hatched pattern, and so when the heart pumps, it doesn't pump like this, it actually wrings itself out, very analogous to you taking a towel and wringing it out. And that makes for a very efficient ejection of blood to the body. But what's even neater about that is that all that energy is stored when it wrung itself out during the pumping phase. Actually, the heart relaxes like that and literally sucks the oxygen-rich blood from the left atrium into the left ventricle to fill it again. So a very unique contraction pattern and almost like a suction filling pattern. Really cool the way that works. When special cells called pacemaker cells generate electrical signals inside your heart, the heart muscle cells called myocytes all contract as a group. Your heart is naturally divided into left and right halves, which work together like dual pumps. On the right side of your heart, poorly oxygenated blood from your body's tissues flows through large veins called the superior and inferior vena cava into your right atrium. Next, the blood moves into your right ventricle, which contracts and sends that blood out to your lungs to gather oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. On the left side of your heart, oxygen-rich blood from your lungs flows through your pulmonary veins into your left atrium. The blood then moves into your left ventricle, which contracts and sends the blood out of your heart through the aorta to feed all the cells and tissues of your body. The first branches off your aorta are called the coronary arteries because they supply your heart muscle with oxygen and nutrients. On top of your aorta, arteries branch off to carry blood to your head and arms. Arteries branching from the middle and lower part of your aorta supply blood to the rest of your body. Your heart beats an average of about 72 beats per minute and in that one minute, your heart pumps about five quarts of blood through your arteries, delivering a steady stream of oxygen and nutrients all over the body. So you can see why I became a cardiologist because the heart is really a fascinating organ. And remember, if you take care of your heart, it'll take care of you throughout your lifetime.